And one of the big problems with remote learning in the spring was students and families who did not have adequate internet access or any service at all. Students across Colorado disappeared from schools. As Nine News reporter Nelson Garcia shows us, school districts say that they've tracked down families who struggle with access, but there are still more out there. As more and more school districts send students back to remote learning, it has become the norm for most families. But as buildings shut down, it becomes a burden for others. I know I'm not the only one. Heather Johnson has two kids in the Greeley Evans School District, which will be closing campuses starting Monday. Um, my girls both are remote learning and one of my 14 year old has special needs. But with COVID picking up steam across Colorado, so have her struggles. I was okay, we were okay. We were able to make our bills and everything, but we ran out of money um, around July. And she can't afford to pay her internet bill. So she says it's being shut off. All of my life I've been told how important education is and I and I'm feeling right now like it's not as important as money. So it did go from a really nice to have to um, essential for, for every day and especially in learning now. Jeff Kanishi is the chief technology officer for Aurora Public Schools. He says it's crucial that schools work with struggling families across the state to keep kids learning. And there's no question this is one of the um, biggest challenges from a, a several factors of you know, how do we provide the internet and, and how do we provide that connection? He says parents like Johnson should reach out to their schools for help to bridge the gap of the haves and have nots. Um, but that's one of the things we're really trying to, um, to, to make, to minimize is that gap um, because we do want equity across the board for all of our students. Johnson is seeking help from her district who is working with her, but Monday is just two days away. This is important, so I'll do what I, whatever I need to. Um, I just am not sure what it is yet. Nelson Garcia, 9 News. Johnson says she tried to apply for the Comcast Internet Essentials Program, which offers cheap service to families who qualify, but she said she was denied because she's behind on her payments to Comcast due to COVID-19. We reached out to Comcast. They say that they're looking into Johnson's case and will work on a solution.